What is up Aquarium people of the world? Grant with Splash Tanks here, thanks for tuning in. All right, today I want to show you my setup of this tank. Now I know, especially when it comes to CO2 tanks, setup can be pretty daunting. Um, there's a lot of stuff that goes into CO2, a lot of people get a little hasty on that, but it's okay. It's actually probably less than you think, so I'll go over what I have and how I make my tank look like this. So hopefully you can apply this to your tank and your tank will look even better than mine. But all right guys, enough talk, let's get into it. All right, everyone, everything I go over today will have links in the description below so you can get yourself the same thing as well. And also, if you haven't already, don't forget to subscribe. But enough talk, let's start looking at what we got. So first things first, the actual aquarium itself is a Landon rimless low iron tank. Now, first off, rimless, as I've said before, I think it's just so cool. Looks like it's floating. Nothing beats a rimless tank, that's pretty sweet. But what does low iron mean? So low iron means there's le low iron in the glass. Wow, genius, who would have thought? Who would have named it? What a great genius name. But what does low iron mean? So if you look in the side of the tank right here, see how it's pretty basically white clear? It just looks perfectly clear. So that's low iron. Low iron makes the glass more clear slash see-through. Whereas you have a normal fish tank or high iron, they don't call it that, it's just a normal fish tank. You'll notice if you look at the edges right here, they'll look green. So that means that the, it isn't a low iron tank, it's not as easy to see through. That's why I love this tank so much, because it is low iron, which basically just means, boom, it's super crystal clear, easy to see through. All right, next thing I want to talk about is our filtration here. So I'm gonna stand up, boom, what do we got? We got the AquaClear 20. So there's just a little little filter, not expensive. It's a, I think it's five to, rated five to 20 gallon aquarium filter, not too shabby at all. On there, I have the Fluval pre-filter sponge. Um, those are good in case you wanna get either really small fish, trying to have fish breed, or if you want shrimp, so that way none of those things get sucked up in there. All right, next up for that heater, we got a 100 watt Aquion heater. So this doesn't even go off much. I don't have the tank super hot, but it is there in case we need it, so it's ready to go. All right, and over here, we have an Eheim Surface Skimmer, it's the Eheim 350. Now, I love this guy. It doesn't have a ton of flow. There is a switch on the back that you can adjust the flow. I have it as low as possible, but as you can see, it makes the surface so clear. You see how it's, all that rippling effect is so nice. Otherwise, you get like gook on the top. Gook, gobbledygook. You get stuff on the top that doesn't look so good, but with that Surface Skinner, Skimmer, Skinner, Leonard, with that surface skinner, it looks beautiful, and you can see all those plants just reflecting out the surface. I think it looks amazing. All right, next, let's go to this LED programmable light. So as you can see, just by looking at the reflection of the water, it has a bunch of colors in the light and white. So this light's cool, because you could actually program it. Over here, I put tape over it, so it wouldn't be light out, so I wouldn't actually touch it. But we got touch buttons right here, and just by touching this, I can go brightness up. You can see the tank got a little brighter there. Go brighten this down, as dim as you want. But all right, let's bring it back up. And then what's cool about this, you can change colors too. So you got red, whew, that looks crazy. Blue, some nice green. Wow, look at how green the plants look now. Purple, aqua, orangish, you get the idea. So there's a lot of colors, back to normal. So a lot of options with that guy right there. All right, next thing, I got to back up to show you guys this. My tank stand is actually not made for this tank. As you can tell, it's not the exact same size. This is actually a 40 gallon aquarium stand. It's fully metal. If you look in the side over here, you can see it's full metal. I actually got that guy from PetSmart, but what I did was I took wood and I put wood over the top of it. It had like bars running across this way. I put wood straight across the top, so I made a nice flat, even surface. And then I put a piece of wood in the front as well to block all my other things behind it. So as you can see, if I pull this piece of wood out, to do, push it out like that, we have our CO2 tank. So that's what makes the magic happen, our CO2 bubbler right here. Now, this CO2 tank is just a five pound CO2 tank, works just fine. I've only had to fill it up about three times the entire time I've had this tank, because it lasts so long. I haven't, F-Zone regulator with the solenoid, solenoid, and then the bubble adjuster you can see right here. So the bubble adjuster is really important 
because you can see I want I want roughly two bubbles a second that's what I like to have it at but right here you can adjust that and then this shows you how much uh, air is left in the tank and this shows you working pressure of the tank all right then I have it connected to actual co2 tubing now this is a little different it's like thicker tubing than regular just air bubbler tubing have it coming up on the back of the tank we get up here got a little one-way valve just to make sure no water goes back in the actual uh, so, uh, regulator comes up we got a little glass piece hooks around do to do some suction cups another suction cup that's missing and then we got our little ooh, he's buried I gotta cut trim this tank but we got our little diffuser right there that's working well you can see how nicely it diffuses in the tank it's making nice little bubbles you want little bubbles is the key um, to help diffuse better and then over here is our glass drop checker I'm gonna put it in the front so they have these that you could put in the tank as well a lot of people like to put them in the tank but I like this one because it hangs over the back so what this does it tells you your level of co2 right now as you can see it's blue that's because the co2 just turned on so blue means there's not enough co2 when it's yellow oh got to drop ooh. when it's yellow that's where you want it you want the perfect amount of co2 that'll be yellow so that tells you what that um, how much co2 to go so if it's not turning yellow you could turn up your co2 drip rate but all right guys that is the whole tank so as you can see it seems daunting but there's not that much that actually goes into this tank and then of course like i've said in previous videos we have the ada amazonia aqua soil version 2 down here to actually have the plants grow and if you want to see a plant list i've made a video check it out right up in here and you can see all these plants and what they are but all right guys thank you so much for watching I hope you enjoyed let me know if you have any questions on the setup i'd love to help i uh, definitely want to have you guys make the easiest but most effective beautiful tank that you possibly can so all right again link in the description below thank you so much for tuning in all right guys i hope that helped i know especially with the co2 there's a lot going into tanks but that hopefully clarified it made it a little simpler there's not a ton of stuff everything's linked in the description below like i said so it should be easy enough if you're trying to get any of these products to get them in your tank so hopefully that helped. Please let me know if there's any questions I can answer, anything I can go more in detail through. But all right, guys, Grandma Splash Tanks here. I appreciate you watching. Have a great one.